It was only 20 years ago when connecting to the internet entailed long cables and loud beeping sounds. These days, connecting to the internet is as simple as connecting your Wi-Fi on your phone. Nearly everyone everywhere seems to have Wi-Fi, but does this technology have any downsides? Wi-Fi routers work by emitting radio frequencies to your devices, and those radio frequencies could be potentially harmful to the health of you and your loved ones. Today, I'm gonna show you how to build a Faraday router cover that will allow you to control when you're exposed and prevent excess RF energy from spreading in your home. You may wanna build a Faraday router cover to reduce harmful RFs in your home or for blocking out signals that could potentially damage your router. First off, let's look at the materials we're gonna to need to make and complete this project. So first, you'll want to make sure that you have our Titan RF Faraday tape. We'll be using the 2.5 inch tape You'll also want to have some Titan RF Faraday fabric. These products, again, are available on our website. You'll want some Velcro strips, a razor, a marker, and some scissors. And when all said and done, you should come out with something looking about like this. Size may change depending on how big your router is. This opens up, completely reusable, it's also worth mentioning that the tape is completely conductive, so you are getting a full shielding effect using both the tape and the Faraday fabric. All right, let's get started. So first, we're gonna to need to cut our fabric to length. For this router, we're gonna to wanna to cut our fabric to about 26 inch by 20 inches. So I think we're already pretty close to about 20 inches on this side. Yes, we are perfect. Now I'm gonna switch it over like this. We'll line it up at the 26 inch mark. And take our razor blade. And let's go ahead and make a little reference mark here. Perfect. And now, I want to cut all the way through. When cutting Faraday fabric, it helps to press down really hard. So make sure you have a nice hard surface that press down on with a razor blade. So next, I find it helps to take the router and actually put it inside the fabric. So we can kind of get a reference of how we're gonna cover it. All right, so basically we're looking for something about like this. Perfect, we may have to lift this up a little bit while we take it, that's no big deal. You may notice that I'm wearing gloves as well. And the reason for that is this is a metallic material and any oils in your fingers could actually get into the material and stain it. So if you want to keep it looking nice, it's a good idea to wear gloves, but if not, it shouldn't matter too much. So now that we have our reference, we're just going to go ahead and fold this in half, line up the edges, and we'll even crease it a little bit just to make it easier on ourselves. Next, we want to cut our tape. So let's take our Titan RF fabric tape, and we'll want to cut one piece of 20 inch. Let's go ahead and cut that through. Perfect. So one 20 inch, and then we will want two 13 inch pieces of tape. Let's go ahead and cut that right there. And when I cut the tape, I usually add an extra quarter of an inch. Um, I just find that helps to make sure that all the tape is overlapping all the edges because as you know, when you're dealing with RF frequencies or, or any signals, of anything like that, you want to make sure that it's a watertight seal because signals work relatively the same way. So we want another 13 inch piece of tape. All right. And then we want two two inch pieces of tape. One and two. Perfect. And don't worry about getting them perfect, just close is good. So let's take our 20 inch strip of Faraday tape. We're just gonna want it to be protected material off. And then we will want to lay it right over the edge here. Okay, perfect. Now let's flip it over. And let's fold our tape over, just like that. Perfect. 
If you get little creases like this, that's, that's nothing to worry about. Let's take one of our 13 inch strips of Faraday tape. And we will do the same thing, but on the sides. And we can actually do both of them right now, just to save a little bit of time. Let's go ahead and flip this over. Let's fold our tape. Make that watertight seal. Or signal tight seal in our case. All right. And perfect. And if you have edges that run off a little bit with the tape, that's perfectly fine. Um, the only thing you want to worry about is if you don't have enough tape and it's open. You definitely want to grab a little piece of uh, patch tape and seal that up. Okay, so next we want to open our pouch. And we're going to do that by taking our razor blade. And we will just maybe a couple centimeters down, start a cut. Remember to press down really hard. We're going through more layers of fabric now, so you want to make sure you press down real hard. Not too hard. Go ahead and run your razor blade along the edge. All right, and now you should be able to open your pouch. All right, that is looking awesome. Okay, so now that we have that basically to where we want it, let's go ahead and throw our router in there and see how it fits. And it's worth mentioning that we are building this pouch for people that want to be able to leave the antennas up. But if, if you don't mind putting the antennas down, you could absolutely build a smaller pouch and save material. All right, so we'll just go ahead and throw that in there. Look at that, perfect. So now we'll want to take our Velcro strips and cut them down to size. And for this pouch, I think we'll use maybe three Velcro strips. That's one, two, all right, so keep in mind, the amount of Velcro you use is completely up to you. Um, depending on the type of seal you want to get, it's completely user-friendly. You can use as much as you'd like. Since we'll be overlapping this bag, actually uh, all you're looking for is just something to hold it closed. Let's overlap our pouch a little bit. And overlapping is definitely going to help keep the RF frequencies from escaping. Stick our Velcro on there, make sure you press down real good. Fold it over one more time. And there we go. Perfect. Okay, now we want to take our additional Velcro strips. And let's just go ahead and stick these on the ends here. And I'll show you why in just a second. And now, let's take the, let's open up the adhesive on there. And then what we'll want to do is overlap this end and fold down and press in with the velcro. All right. And just like that, you have a signal blocking Faraday bag for a Wi-Fi router. But there's a few more things we have to do before it's done. You'll probably want to keep your Wi-Fi router running while it's in the enclosure. So we'll have to make some holes so that it's accessible. So I'm going to do, I'm just going to open this back up and we'll take a look at where our cables actually need to plug in. Take our marker. Just gonna make two little dots here. I don't need to be perfect, just close. And we'll take our router out of there. Flip this over. As you can see, we have our two little dots, our little reference marks for the uh, Ethernet cable and the power cable. And be careful when you're doing this next part. I suggest 
taking a hard surface and actually putting it inside the bag so that when you cut down, you have something to press onto. But luckily I've done this enough times that all I'm gonna do is take my razor blade, just make it cut, right? Just big enough for the cable to go through. You don't wanna open it up too much. Right. One more cut for our power cable. Perfect. Okay. So we'll flip this back around. We'll throw our router back in there. And as you can see, we have two little cuts lined up perfectly with the power and ethernet cable. Now we want to address the cables. Now when you're going to put the cables in the back of the enclosure, you want to make sure that you wrap them with Faraday material. Uh, for our purposes, we're going to be using the 2.5 inch Faraday tape, it's just the simplest. Okay, so what we're gonna do, just gonna put it right here, cut 12 inches, one, perfect. All right, we're gonna take our ethernet cable, let's go ahead and just run it down the length of the cable and wrap it around. Perfect. We'll also want to do that with the power cable. Perfect. And just wrap it up. Awesome. And back to the back of our Wi Fi router, we want to go ahead and insert the cable. Just like that. So we'll go ahead and just pull our router out a little bit. And as you can see, we have our cables on the inside of the bed. Let's go ahead and plug this one, our RJ45 cable in, and our power cable, just like that. Slide it back in the bag. Let's first close our bag to make sure that it is sitting there properly. I'm going to fold it over, stick the velcro, we'll fold over our edges, perfect. And now that we have our wires in the actual bag, we want to make sure that there are no gaps that signal could leak out. So we're going to take our two strips of tape. one on the bottom, just like this, and we'll take the other one and put it on the top. Just like that. Perfect. Okay, so next I want to show you how this actually works by blocking RF. This is a tri-field meter. It picks up RF signals. Notice how the meter bounces when it's next to the cell phone? Let's see what happens when we put the cell phone in the enclosure. All right, look at that. No more signal. You've reached the end of the video. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Please consider subscribing and dropping a like or comment below and that'd really help us out. Find us on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, and go ahead and tag us at Mission Darkness if you make something cool so we can see what you came up with. All right guys, we'll see you in the next video.